Hello, everyone, and welcome. We are surrounded by pageantry and tradition, and it's clear to see that college football will be at its best today. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a team looking for its first win, the Coyotes. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Okay, so here comes the offense for the first time today. And here he comes. This offense is built completely around the talents of this running back, a rare commodity in today's game, and all eyes are on it. And the defense. And he's still running after the move. And he's running in the open. Running inside the 20. Finds the finish line for the touchdown. And these offensive coordinators tell you they want to start fast and they want to establish the run game. And that is exactly what you did. First drive, you hand the football off, making the big explosive run, setting the tone for this football game. On to attempt to try. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinator. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Coyotes offense will go to work for the first time today. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Got his man quickly. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. And the Coyotes are in the hurry up. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends is so much versatility. Right? They can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come over. Takes the easy one to the back. The defense wouldn't let him lose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. He wants to throw it again. Catch in the middle, it's Beal. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Just led him a little too far across the sidelines. Makes the catch, but it's incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's looking to throw. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he drops the throw. He'll pull it down and run. They really have no choice here. This is a no-brainer. You go for it here on this fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Finds his man and they convert. Touchdown, Dingoes! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. Yards after catch. That's what this guy gives you. That was a simple slant pass. He caught it, made guys miss, showed you the speed, and it was pay dirt from there. What can you say about this guy's athleticism, man? He is such a weapon. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. Now this offense is back on the field. 
boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make? Because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Hard running there. And he's brought down, but a flag is also down. Hold it, hold it, hold it, up it. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. And he'll be smacked to the ground. Well, it's a nice job by the tight end there. He's patient. He fights his way through all the traffic in the middle of the field, running that drag route, making it an easy completion for the quarterback. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Really nice job by the offense. Hey, man, you trust your guys, right? You got all these analytics and fourth down, set it, go for it. They trust the quarterback. He gets it done with the completion and gets the big first down. And he doesn't find much running room. A short gain on the play. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Try and play action. Looking to buy time. Takes a hit as he fires. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. When you're around midfield, there's not really much of a choice. Go for it on fourth down. Sends it downfield. He's got it inside the 25. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Works his way down to the 10-yard line after a pickup of three. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Quarterback checking the play. He's going to pass on second down. He makes a grab! And he won't be able to push his way in. He stopped at the one. Well, it's a great job by the receiver fighting back across the DB there to get to the inside, locate the ball, and catch the slam. Slams into the end zone for a touchdown. Lining up for the PAT. And the PAT gives him a 14-7 lead. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And the offense back on the field, ready to dial up ball plays. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. They'll throw it on first down. And it's an incomplete pass over the middle. Well, give the defense credit because they're forcing this quarterback to throw into very small windows under duress. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. The Coyotes headed quickly to the line. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Unloads to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. 
And they exploited that soft spot, and they get it down to the 35. Man, if I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. They get him down, but he does pick up three to the 32-yard line. We're through one, and what a back-and-forth battle between these two quarterbacks as we look at the stats. And they've swapped ends of the field, and we'll get it going in the second. Defense in press coverage. Keeps it on the bootleg, looking to throw. Fires on the run. He throws back across his body, and it's picked off. And he's brought down after the pick, but not before putting his offense in business. They're backed up, first and ten from inside their own five, and they'll try to get this drive started. That's a way to get some breathing room. He's got five out to the nine-yard line. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. It's complete to the left. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. This guy's done a lot of good things early this year, throwing the football. With that last completion, that now takes him over 1,000 yards passing for the year. At the 45 on his way. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. From the gun, the running back has it. They finally get him on the ground with a big running play moves to change for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Quarterback Will Audible. Trying to find his man on first down. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. Back to the line after the incompletion. Second and ten from the 37. He's looking to throw. Finds a tight end. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. New set of downs after that completion. The give to the tailback. What a nifty one there to pick up the first down. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. Got it! And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. That touchdown puts him up by at least two scores. Too early to say it's over? Probably, but boy, it's starting to feel that way. It might not be over, but you're in trouble, and you better find some answers really, really quickly. This team is putting everything together, and right now you got nothing going. Come on, give me something. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Looking for a productive play on first down. They'll leave it with him. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. The play action fake. Throws to the wideout. Fires into traffic, intercepted. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. He's just Johnny on the spot. That now his second interception of the game, doing a great job reading the quarterback's eyes. And he's just been in the right place at the right time making the play. They've got a little time here to put together a productive drive late in the half. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Second down coming up. Here's the handoff. 
And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks it down. They need a conversion on third and three to make the most of that great starting field position. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Well, this offense is sending a little bit of a message here. Of course, we know how much they've struggled on third down all season long. They're just never able to seem to get into a rhythm. But after that last running play, moving the sticks, you just wonder what that does for their confidence. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. The give to the back. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. I know the passing game sells, the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. These guys are really hitting their stride in week four as they push out that lead. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. That touchdown gives his team a pretty significant lead at this point. And that's what you want. You want to start fast. You want everything to come out, start clicking, make some plays. It doesn't always work that way, but when you do, man, the energy, the crowd, everybody's into it. Now the other team better respond. The best red zone offenses are the ones who can run the ball in this area, but that's a tough ask today. Sprints into the end zone for a touchdown. And you love giving it to the big boy right near the goal line, plowing ahead. You know he's going to put two hands on the football, lower his shoulder, second and goal. You don't need third and goal, thanks to the big fella. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Offense making its way onto the field to start the drive. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like, this is, this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. you got to get some points on the board. you got to create something positive, Jesse. There hasn't been a hole. And he is finding wide-open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. That's the advantage right there of having your dime personnel on the field. You've got an extra DB. You've got an extra guy out there who's really good at covering. So for quarterbacks, you've got to be so good and precise with these passes because they've got speed in the back end. They're able to come away with the pick. Boy, this is just the type of field position this offense wants. Going up top on first down. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. He makes a stop, but a nice pickup there on first down. Leaves him in second and manageable. Right, he didn't get a big gain. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If you get Throws toward the end zone. And it's caught for the touchdown. This offense is so good. Man, they can hurt you in so many different ways, and they do it so quick, so explosive. They can put small drives together, big drives together. They've really had a great year, and that's why they're a top-10 offense. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Let's see what this offense has dialed up this time. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Got his man. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Wants to throw on first down. Now adjusting. He's going to take off. Good run on the play, and he slides to avoid the hit. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Comes out throwing on first down. They're bringing heat. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. Looking to throw on second down. 
fires to the middle. Can't make the connection in the defense, putting on the heat and forcing the incompletion. This is a third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. Coming after it. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. And the Coyotes will punt this one away. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. And the punt team gets down there and touches it dead. That's where they'll put it in play. This late in the half, here's the question. How aggressive will the play calling be? Safe completion on the screen. They make the stop, but a good pickup there on first down. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. I tell you what, if you want to be overzealous, if you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. Almost broke this one for a long game, but it just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start bringing a lot of pressure. On second down, he'll fire. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And no one is going to catch him. Cruises into the end zone for a touchdown. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. And no chance at a return. Here they'll start this drive at their own 25. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. They'll give it to the back. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Offside, Offside. Defense. defense. And you got to focus, right? The first thing you're looking at as a defensive lineman, the first thing you understand is the ball starts with a snap count. I, I have to line up, see the ball. When the ball moves, I move. I know it's simple, but you still see guys jumping off sides all the time. Looking deep down the right side. He can't haul it in. Incomplete. They took a shot, but that's how we'll wrap up the half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium in Norfolk to take a deep breath and kind of digest what we just saw. And we'd be remiss if we didn't start this halftime report by acknowledging the sparkling play of this tight end. The guy's like an aircraft carrier out there as a blocker. And then when he releases and shows off that speed and route running, he's almost unguardable. Gotta believe he won't be able to go anywhere in this second half without someone attached to his hip. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside Ballard Stadium. Thanks for that breakdown, Kevin. They're lining up to boot Number it away. Set to kick it off. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. They'll put this one in play. First snap of the drive from the 25. Starting this third quarter on the ground. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. That kind of pick up on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. Goes to the option. Crosses the 45. And he froze that defender. He thought he was going to pitch it, kept it himself, and turned it into a big play. I'll tell you what, dude. In today's football, I'm not starting a team without a guy that can do that at the quarterback spot. You see it. He hits the gas, pulls it down quickly, and just goes. Whether he's reading something, whether he's throwing, he is always a threat to run the football. He completely changes the way you play defense. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Quick strike complete. Breaks the tackle. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pick up on that one. The Coyotes are flying down the field. 
from the offense. And off from the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. He just got rid of that one to save the down. Didn't see anything he liked. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires deep toward the end zone. Another interception. That's his fourth of the day. That's why you love veterans in this defense. They stay locked in on their rules, and he made the pick. And the offense takes the field, ready to go back to work. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Trying to get to it. And here's a fumble way behind the line. It's coming up with a huge fumble recovery. The coach wants the officials to have another look at the monitor. Using a timeout here, thinks the call is going to end up going his way. The coach still thinks he was right. The officials say he was not. The challenge is denied, and the timeout is gone. And the Coyotes trying to cash it in on first and goal. He'll set up to throw. And that one is picked off in the end zone. And he's brought down, and his defense gets the ball back for its own. They're backed up, first and ten from inside their own five. Let's see if they can create some space. Looks as if he'll work his way forward and get it up to about the 11-yard line. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. First and 10 from their own 15-yard line. They'll ride the hot hand. Nudges ahead for one out for the 16. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Trying to make magic with his feet. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He's going to pass. He uncorks a bullet to the right. And that'll be incomplete, man. That would have been a big hitter on first down, but second down's coming up. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Dialing up a second down pass play. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. That's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. Looking to throw on third. Going over the top. He's got it at the 20. Pulls it in and runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Line gets set. First down. DBs locked up tight on the receivers. They'll go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Dances away to buy time. At the 40, there he goes. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. The Coyotes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. A little release to the back. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Offense gets set for second down. Running back searching for a hole. Corralled and brought down by the defense. Well, 
the defense wasn't expecting that. They had a lot of guys back in the coverage. That was second and a lot of yards to go, and they got caught off guard. Not enough guys in the box to control that running back. And the Coyotes will keep this drive going. Yeah, third and one, you know what time it is. It's about the big boys up front. You got to give me a little bit of space, a little crack. You just can't give up that penetration so my running back can fall forward just like that and get the first down. Got him downfield. They get him down to this offense to set up first and goal from the nine. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goal post trying to defend their own end zone with the run on first and goal. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. And they've been able to get within two yards. Now will they try to throw it in for the score? They want to power it in on the ground on third and goal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Dingoes! Well, well, well. Somebody's been doing their box jumps. You ain't lying. Getting up in the air. Hey, listen, I'm taking a picture of that, saving it. That might be my screensaver on my phone, that vertical way up in the air. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Offense set on first down. Power football with the run. Good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. At the 33-yard line. the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. Line getting set on second down. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Twist his way through. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll try the run. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll come out throwing on first down. Now improvising. He'll try to do it himself. And it'll be a short game, but no need to take a big hit there on the scramble. Here comes the offense on second down. From the gun, running back on the move. Tackle is made at the 33. It's about a five-yard pickup, and that'll be enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wideout. And it's intercepted. A turnover for the defense. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Reese, I know you're a little bit of a front runner, so you probably would quit. You, actually, you'd probably sub yourself out and take yourself out of the game. But I like that they're continuing to fight. Keep fighting. You never know what's going to happen. Actually, you know what? I know you're not going to win, but it doesn't matter. Keep fighting to the very end. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Looking for a big game. Fires the pass. Intercepted. Going the other way, and he's got room. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback. And DBs are trying to do this. Add them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. The offense set for a first down play. 
They'll run it, trying to drain time off the clock. You know, every running back thinks about the 100-yard barrier every time they take the field. And this guy, I know he's got it in his mind. He might be the only one in the stadium right now that knows. He's got 97 yards rushing here in the fourth quarter. You know he is begging his coach just for one more carry to get that mark. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. And the give to the back. Makes the tackle at the... Pick up a five on the play. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Back to pass, it's Bailey. Deep shot for the end zone. And give him another six. Grabs it for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they top it off with a 31-yard toss for six. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And the offense heads out onto the field to get the drive started. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Caught in the backfield, it's Hainsworth. He is going nowhere. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. It's complete to the right. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Third and ten, still back up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. Fires to the right, and that ball is picked off. Looking for more room. He's at the 10, and he's in for the score. Dude, this, you didn't think it could be any worse, right? You thought this game's over as it is anyways. Offense still throwing the football, still trying to make plays, and the defense just continues to pour it on, gets the pick, makes its way all the way to the end zone. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. BYU is just steamrolling its way to victory today. No way the experts saw this coming. A lead that just keeps growing and growing. They're up by 18 over Iowa State. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. Got it in the middle, it's Wilkerson. And he earns a first down, and boy, did he earn it after taking that lift. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. Throws to the back. Finds his man down the middle. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. The Coyotes come to the line with a new set of downs. They're going to throw it again. Quickly complete. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. A new set of downs after the completion. To the air on first down. Makes his connection. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Now on first down from the 28. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Soft spot in the middle. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pickup. And they'll move the chains with the first down. First down for the offense. Looking to move it through the air. And he throws his third pick of the day. His head has to be spinning. The number one objective for a defense is to make the offense one-dimensional. Well, when they're trailing by this much, 
late in the game. They're one dimensional. They have to pass the football. We can bring more speed on the field. You see it. We know you're throwing the football. Nice break on the football. Nice interception. This one's almost over. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Just searching and working for the running room as he gets it out to the 26. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Getting some heat. He's going to fire deep. And the incomplete pass taking a shot on second down, and they'll be left with a third down. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the change for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll run it from the gun. Finally stopped at the 46 after a 15-yard gain. The analytics nerds will tell you that a four-yard pickup on first down is a successful play. Let's see what they have on first and ten. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. And this is exactly where you want to be as an offensive coordinator. Like when you've got the lead late in the football game, just run the football, eat the clock. Man, they put a good day together. They, they, they've had a they've had their way with it. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, it's Bailey. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. When you know you have a team out of class, the ability to play to that standard and finish with a blowout like this is really impressive. And it's almost like playing against yourself, right? You know you're better. You know you're going to win the football game. But how do I continue to still execute? This, this was so easy. Great execution. Uh, just beat down in every facet. And I think as a player, you just love being in such great rhythm. And we saw that right from the get-go in this game. Offense just able to matriculate the ball down the field. Defense was not giving anything up. What a great game plan coming in. And this was just total domination. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.